All right, the last one here. I don't even know if this one's true, guys. Um, I hope this is true. I don't know. But this 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 seems too true, to I mean, too unbelievable to be true. This is called threesome. It says, dear Bill, I was a virgin who never wrote in, but listen to your, listen to you respond to other virgins who wrote in. I am nineteen, not exactly old, but who wants to break twenty before blowing your load in a teenage girl? The remarkable part um, is that I had a threesome to kick off my new life as not a virgin. See that. This guy's trying to make me believe that right out of the gate. I mean, it can happen. People get called up from the minors their first fucking time. You know, they hit for the fucking cycle. They throw a perfect game. It can happen. But I'm reading this one with a grain of salt. I don't know if this is a listener fucking with me or what. But here we go. He said, I met this girl. Let's see how believable this sounds. All right, then we'll take a vote whether you believe this or not. I hope it's true. Anyways, I met this girl at the beach last summer and ran into her again sometime in July. She was being very flirty and kept talking about her summer bucket list. She said her and her friend had the same goal. I thought they meant that they separately wanted to get deflowered, not thinking that, hey, everyone is probably, not thinking that, hey, everyone is probably getting laid. I figured we were all on the same page. Oh, so you thought that they were both virgins. So a week back, I invited her to a party my friend was having she brings her friend and her friend is hotter uh i start working on her because i'm drunk and on a roll and i'm going for broke good for you good for you in fact at one point another dude came in to interrupt the conversation and i gave him a whoa you gotta you gotta raise your hand what does that mean he raised, oh, I'll raise, you got to raise your hand to come into the conversation. Jesus Christ, this kid took his Fonzie pills. Uh, he said he, uh, he raised his hand and I called him a clown. Everyone laughed. What a fucking idiot. He did that? Anyways, why wouldn't I think this girl want, wanted to bang? Wait a minute, dude. How are you this fucking cool and you never got any ass before? This doesn't make any sense. You're coming off like uh, Billy Ray Valentine here. Anyways, well, it turns out her and her friends wanted to have a threesome. I realized this when they both told me flat out that they wanted to. I went for it, Bill. I didn't really know what I was doing for the first 10 seconds or so, but after that, it just all made sense like when Neo saw The Matrix. I couldn't have done it without the podcast. Now, let me ask you this. Do you guys believe that? I didn't know what I was doing for the first 10 seconds, and then you all of a sudden you understood but then he, he makes a reference to Neo in the Matrix, which is something that a fucking nerd would do. I don't know. It's a hell of a story. I hope it's true. It just, it just doesn't make sense. You're a fucking virgin. You get a threesome the first time without paying for it. You know? You fucking, you have the ball. You're a fucking virgin, but you have the, but you're making the move of a guy who's gotten laid where you go for the even hotter one. And then you stop the guy from cock blocking you. You know, I mean, unless you're in absolute, you're the fucking the natural. There's no way. How do you have all these skills that you never got laid before? I'm calling bullshit on this one. I hope it's true. I hope it's true. I really do. And if it is true, I want to know what the fuck you were drinking.